Hi everyone, Shirtlet here, and I have in my eternal folly emulated the game Gundam Seed Battle Destiny on the Vita 3K emulator. The file dump I'm using is the .pkg file from NPS by the way, in case you want to repeat my mistake. It's not that bad, but the graphical issues and the new control scheme are... Uh, I'm not a fan to say the least. Anyways, if you're still here watching, you probably want to get your hands on those sweet, sweet mobile suits. And you just found out that you can't really access the missions of a specific faction. I've got bad news, people. It is intentional, and you basically have to do free playthroughs on separate save files to truly reach the 100% completion mark, at the very minimum. So, let me tell you about the so-called roots in the star mode, since you'll basically stick to three main branches, the Earth Alliance, the Archangel Faction and the Zodiac Alliance of Freedom Treaty, also known as Zaft. In the character creation though, you'll only get access to Earth Alliance and Zaft. Now, you pick one, you do a few missions and suddenly you stumble upon mission 9. It's set in Josh A. Oh. Josh, not sure whether it's Josh A or Joshua, anyways, it's in Alaska. Now the thing is that after subjecting the enemy forces to the good old ultra violence, you will have to get the hell out of the blast zone, otherwise you'll get vaporized by the Cyclops system. Get it? Nice. Now for the important part. After the Cyclops system is fired, the mission timer stops and you'll get two choices. There's two areas on the opposite sides of the stage. The blue one lets you stay on the path you're on and the yellow one lets you join Kirito, I mean Yamato Jesus-kun under the Archangel faction. Quick yet important reminder, when you're doing the aforementioned stage, go to the main menu, open the My Room section and disable autosave. The thing is, whatever root choice you made the first time is permanent. So if you want to stay on the safe side, get that auto save disabled. From there, you can continue onwards until you reach the year CE 73. The things remain the same, but you can go back to your original faction after finishing the final CE 71 Archangel mission. Don't do it, you'll waste your time. The reason I'm saying that is that while you can rejoin the Archangel faction after choosing the yellow spot in the CE-73 mission 7 for both Zaft and the Earth Alliance respectively, it would be a waste of time since you can just do Zaft only and Earth Alliance only runs. You know what, uh, give me a second, I'll draw it and put it on screen. Yeah, that should help. Thanks for giving this one a look, I hope it came in handy. It has also come to my attention that I've managed to surpass the 30 subscriber mark on YouTube. And I'm not gonna get all parasocial on you, I just wanted to say thanks. With a special thank you to Midnight Hatter, Sky Slam, Gundam Explained, Minato vs, Papa Nick, Lunar Nocturne, Wandering Lisa, Matthew, Maka Curtis, and lastly, Mad Mad Dog Whedon for those music recommendations. Anyways, Shirtlade, signing out.